I'll be completely honest with you. I'm tired. It's probably like 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm so tired. But, welcome to my vlog. I'm calling it a vlog now because I've made a resolution. It's kind of a late resolution because it's way past resolution time. The resolution I made at the beginning of the year, you remember. Mine is to make more videos. Yeah, it's to make more videos. Well, I've completely failed at that. I made a goal with myself that I'd make at least four a month. I think I've made 0.7 a month. Lately, I've just been super, like, not depressed, but super unmotivated to do anything. I think it's the winter blues. I don't know. This happened last year. I was on my mission. I was just so unmotivated to go out and do stuff, and it was during the winter time. And when that happens, you tend to get depressed. Now, I'm not saying I'm depressed, but I'm lacking motivation. So I made a little deal with myself that I will sometimes start to make videos every day for one year. One video a day for one year. At least on this channel. I'm actually getting a call. Hello. Yep. Pretty good. I think I already did. Alright. Thank you. Uh, just calling thinking that I owe them money, but I don't. Oh, what you making? Yeah. What? Eggs. Eggs? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, dude? How you doing? Not bad, man. Alright. <sighs> yeah, I've decided. What? I'm gonna start a vlog. Oh, hey, hey. I already had a vlog, but I stopped doing it. But I made a deal with myself, I'll make Wait, one. Wait, a vlog or a blog? A vlog. A vlog. Video oh. blog, I guess. Nice. I decided I'm going to... Make it big, bro. Well, <laughs> I used to vlog on my mission all the time. Oh, really? But now I've stopped for some reason. You have never vlogged. Well, yeah, no. <laughs> so, I made a deal with myself that I'm going to make a video every day for a year. That's cool. Let's see if I can Are do you going to post them? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just got to discipline myself and just do it. Yeah. Story time. Okay, so last video I made, I think, was at the airport. The video before that was when I was going to Missouri. Now, I want to tell you about the night before that day. Okay, if you look at this, this is our apartment, right here. And this, that kind of looks like an ET um, <laughs> quarantine area, is the hallway. Now, during the middle of the night, around three o'clock in the morning, that was filled with water. Just not filled, but there was a good like three inches of water on the ground. Actually, I'm gonna kind of show you what it looks like right now. They've been working on it like the entire time, ever since. This is like a, a month ago. Um, yeah, they've been working on it, repainting, um, getting out the mold. Let's see. I'll show you what one of these apartments look like. So, all the apartments that were affected, they just had to completely just gut out do some repainting, gotta do carpet. It's kind of sad, there's a lot of kids who were in our ward that had to move. It's like a Warhammer figuring a stormtrooper, half a stormtrooper. That's cool, that's interesting. Anyway, I keep getting sidetracked, back to my story. So, it was about three o'clock in the morning and all of a sudden we hear the fire alarm go off. And really, to be honest, a fire alarm goes off in this building at least two or three times a month. It's really common. I mean, it's dangerously common. I mean, if you really wanted to be a, a real terrorist, all you have to do is pull the fire alarm in the same building every day for a week. And then 
the last day of that week, set the building on fire and you'll kill like tons of people. <laughs> That's how it is around here. No one gets out of bed in the middle of the night when a fire alarm goes off because it happens almost every week. Now when this happened, we're all sitting in bed. It's like, okay, I'll turn off eventually. Just another false alarm. But no, there's, we start to hear people screaming up and down the hallways. A lady comes in, like bursts into our apartment and just starts screaming. I was like, what are you doing here? Get out of the building. She was psycho. We all put on our shoes and we go outside and there's water leaking from the ceilings and on the floor. I, I could take out my phone and I, uh, I start making a Snapchat video just showing the water. I'm just jumping in it, splashing it around. And then I see a fireman come up and he's like glares at me. He's like, get out of the building. And so they're all fresh again. We all, we all get out of the building, go to the clubhouse and start hanging out. We're like, oh crap, what do we do? And we're all thinking, building's on fire. What about our crap? The fire department wouldn't be here if the building wasn't on fire. And so we're all like, fetch, we left all our crap in there and it's going to get ruined. I'm talking our computers, personal belongings. We decided two things. One, we wanted to protect our stuff. Two, we wanted to go to McDonald's and we left our wallets in the building. We would sneak past the fire trucks, go back into the burning building, go up the stairs, sneak into our hallway, try not to be seen, to get our wallets and to put all of our electronics underneath blankets. That's exactly what we did. Snuck back into a burning building to get our wallets and to protect our stuff. If you ask me, we felt awesome. Today, I should get the Millennial Award of the Year, <laughs> to be honest. It turns out that the building wasn't on fire and it was just water, just water. But we went back in just to make sure our things were protected. So that's good. We protected our stuff, got our wallets, and we went to McDonald's. That McDonald's was packed. I think every Mount Lofts dude was there. We're actually really fortunate because everything Everything back there was damaged by water, um, all up to this point. And this is the point where there was no damage and it was right next to our apartment. So we got lucky. Um, we didn't have to move. Do you play drums? Uh, we're trying to do something. I don't know, he's trying to get his end. He's gonna try to, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys do? I don't know which one they are, dude. Just the beginning is just like that. That's three, okay. Three. And then, yeah. Wait. Okay, try to keep... Okay, come on, let's stop. Gun, and it should be low. Yeah, I think that's how you do it. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. Isn't it stupid, boy? Mm hmm. 